We now welcome on the call the head coach of the Maine Black Bears, Jordan Stevens. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. Uh, a 28-3 setback uh, for your team down at William & Mary on Saturday, a game that uh, certainly uh, you guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the tribe there in the first half. Just give me your assessment on your team's play. Yeah, as you said, I mean, we competed hard and, uh, you know, kept the game really close uh, up until really the – the the third quarter uh based you know the turnover we had on the opening drive on offense um you know allowed them to get up two scores and then um from there I thought we did do a nice job of um you know just making them earn everything on offense you know that's a great team and hats off to coach London and their um uh, and that team and um you know the culture they have and the the toughness they play with certainly showed through in the end um but I thought, you know, our players played really hard in the beginning and, um, you know, and throughout, you know, throughout the entire game. But uh, just, uh, you know, our margin for error is very small and it is in this league. So, uh, you know, we have to capitalize on times when we uh, we need to convert or we need to make a play. Uh, so, you know, we're continuing to work that and, you know, have um, have work to do. And we're getting back to work this week. Question uh, this morning from Larry Mahoney. Good morning, Larry. Morning, Rob. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, Coach, good morning. Morning, Larry. Uh, Jordan, um, uh, your quarterback, Derek Robertson, five interceptions, uh, no touchdowns. Uh, uh, he hasn't, you know, he's not a runner. Uh, do you give, uh, is it is it about time to take a look at that position and, and making a change there to try to um, get your offense clicking under 10 points a game or if not, why not? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're evaluating every player in um, each game. So, you know, Derek is a piece, right? He's, uh, you know, a piece of the uh, the team. He's a key member. He's a leader on this team um, and has done uh, a terrific job. We got to continue. Derek's got to improve, um, you know, offensively, our, our offensive line needs to improve, and they are, and they are, are working hard towards that. It's a great group of young men um, that is working hard to improve. So, um, you know, looking at, you know, all those those possibilities, but the big thing is, um, I, you know, we see a lot of areas where, um, you know, everything around Derek um, is improving and needs to continue to improve to help, to help him out as well. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to stay the course and continue to push forward. Um, and um, like I said, I mean, everything is, everything is always being evaluated. So uh, we'll, we're excited about our plan coming up this week and the opponent that we have. So he'll be starting this week. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Your next question from Anthony DeCacco. Go ahead, Anthony. Hey, Coach. Uh, coming into this week's matchup with Stony Brook, you'll both be hungry to get your first wins of the season. Uh, what do you have to do to assure that you'll come out on top in that matchup? Yeah, this is a uh, you know a tough, physical Stony Brook team on both sides of the ball, um, and you know they compete extremely, extremely high level. And you saw that in the in the Richmond game and going back and forth throughout that entire game. Um, you know they're they're a passionate group as well, and. You know, for us, you know, we're going to need to make sure we take care of the football first and foremost. And that's something that we've improved throughout the year. Um, I thought it was our best game against William Mary in, in terms of taking care of the field position. And that really is what kept us in the game is is being able to maintain that field position. That's something that we're going to want to do this game as well is, if, you know, we don't want to walk out, away from the game, um, you know, feeling like we, we put ourselves in a position where, um, you know, we didn't give our players a chance to make plays. So we're going to put them in a position to make plays and uh, control the field position. And um, I think in the end, we'll, we'll be happy with the result. Thank you. Next question, Jordan, from Kyle Kenzie. Go ahead, Kyle. Coach, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, you know, having spent your entire coaching career in New England and having been in the Ivy League, what sort of relationship you had, if any, and what sort of impact you had, if any, with, uh, with Buddy Tevens? Um, yeah, I mean, my thoughts and prayers are out to, um, coach Stevens and his family and the Dartmouth football family. Um, you know, I know coach Stevens was a, the head coach here, um, in the mid 1980s. So, um, you know, he's, his name resonates around here. Um, 
you know, as a, as a former black bear. So I don't have a personal relationship with him. Um, obviously, as you mentioned, being in the Ivy league, uh, going against him is, you know, he had terrific teams in my time in the Ivy league. So uh, a lot of respect for coach Stevens and what he's done for the game of football, uh, you know, and for a lot of young men. So, um, really just, uh, my thoughts are with him and, and his family and, and that tragic event. And, um, you know, really thankful for what he's done for the game of football. Thank you. Jordan, we talked last week about the, uh, you know, the, all the tough teams that you guys have played, the ranked opponents and everybody. William & Mary's defense is number one in the country in scoring yards, yards against, have a lot of offensive touchdown, I guess, now in three weeks. What makes that group so good? I know you're a big defensive guy. What What makes their unit so good? Yeah, I mean, I think starting up front, I mean, both their defensive their defensive ends are terrific. I mean, they're a hard-nosed group uh, that flies around. I got a lot of respect for their secondary as well. That's a physical group. Um, you know, Ryan Poole that, that is a terrific corner. I mean, does a great job. And um, they're just – they're going to be tight on routes. They're going to be tight in the run game. Um, you know, they're a passionate group. They have a confidence about them. They're a physical group. I mean, they're going to play through the echo of the whistle – uh, but it's a, you can see that they have chemistry. They have, um, you know, they have a swagger on defense that really I haven't seen this year. Probably, you know, that's the best defense that we've faced, you know, and that's playing FIU. That's playing, um, you know, North Dakota State as well. Got a follow-up question from Larry. Go ahead, Larry. Yeah. Larry, you're on mute. You got me now? Yeah, I got you. Okay, uh, Jordan, what um, injury update? You were without Ryobi, um, Shakur Smalls, uh, Thomas, uh, Gross, uh, Tavion Banks again. Um, any chance any of those five will be back for Stony Brook? Thank you. Yeah, we're hopeful for, uh, you know, David's working his, his way back. Um, you know, all are on the way uh, to getting back healthy. Timeline, I don't have a timeline for you, but um, – all the other guys you mentioned are uh, we plan to have this year, you know, all coming in different stages, though. Jordan, defensively, as we touched on, you guys certainly uh, you held William Mary to, to seven points in, the, in that second touchdown after Ryan pulls interception. They, they were working on a, a short field. Um, I, I know the weather was bad, but you guys did a pretty good job of slowing them down. What did you think the key to to or to the defensive effort was and who were some guys that uh, impressed you? Yeah. I mean, the guy that's, you know, stands out and has stood out the past three weeks is Darius McKenzie, you know, continues to show up and prepare himself the right way each week. Um, you know, so it's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of bright spots on the, on the defense in terms of young players and uh, players that had inexperience going into this year. Now that, I mean, they're, they're four games in. So, um, and there's many other guys that have stepped up, um, even up front. I mean, uh, our new guy, Isaiah Henderson, continues to make an impact in the backfield um, and does a great job. So, you know, there's a lot of pieces there that we're, we're excited about. Um, you know, Kazir Bucks brown on the corner position, he's been getting better each game as well. So I think we're continuing to get, you know, our feet under us um, and show that we can be um, a very sound, tough defense um, that we – great against the run in the past. Before I let you go, uh, you touched on Sony Brook a little bit with uh, with Anthony, but uh, their defense um, especially came up with five turnovers in that game against Richmond. Obviously, everybody was battling weather, and that was a was a factor. But as you've taken a look at their defense and as opportunistic as they've been, what impresses you on that side for them? Yeah, starting up front, I mean, I think they have a, you know, they're a long, big defensive line. Um, I think it's hard to get the edges on them. They do a nice job of of constricting the pocket in the in the pass game. So, um, from a secondary standpoint, I mean, you see them flying around. Um, I think they're a sound defense. They're uh, a group that's playing with with purpose, playing with with passion, and and um, you know, you feel that on their sideline in the game. You feel that uh, just how they play is that this is going to be a passionate group that comes up here, uh, ready to play, ready to compete. So, uh, we're going to get their best. All right, Jordan, thanks so much for the uh, the time today and look forward to talking again next week. Thanks, Rob. See you next week. All right, see you next week. Thanks.